Last Games of NBA Legends Bill Russell Bill Russell is easily one of the greatest players to have ever donned the Boston Celtics uniform. Actually, he's one of the greatest players ever, period. Russell's illustrious career came to an end on May 5, 1969. He managed just six points that evening, but he also grabbed 21 boards. What makes this performance so memorable is the fact that it was in Game 7 of the Finals against no less than Boston's age-old rivals, the Los Angeles Lakers. Russell, who also happened to be the team's coach at the time, led his side to a decisive Game 7 victory, en route to a record 11th championship for the legendary Celtics big man. Kobe Bryant As far as final game performances go, Kobe Bryant's last game for the Lakers has got to be the best among the bunch. On April 13, 2016, the Black Mamba came out with an amazing Kobe Bryant outing, dropping a cool 60 points on his final career game. The five-time NBA champ really wanted to score as much as he could that evening, taking a career-high 50 shots to hit the 60-point mark. Ultimately, the late great Kobe Bryant led the Lakers to a thrilling comeback victory against a formidable Utah Jazz side. Bryant addressed the crowd after the game, and in true Kobe fashion, he dropped the mic at the end of his speech, uttering the now immortalized phrase, Mamba out. Thank you, thank you, from the bottom of my heart, I, God, I love you guys, and uh, I love you guys, and uh... Shaquille O'Neal. Shockingly, the most dominant big man in the history of the game was unable to log a single positive stat during his last outing on an NBA hardwood. Notably, his tenure with the Boston Celtics wasn't exactly the peak of his career, but him logging just 3 minutes and 31 seconds on a playoff loss was just sad for such a legendary player. His stats were 0 assists, 0 steals, and 0 rebounds. Dwayne Wade Dwayne Wade had himself a farewell tour in his final season in the NBA. This was during the 2018-19 campaign, and of course, he had to close out his career with his beloved Miami Heat. Wade actually surprised the basketball world with his consistency throughout the season, averaging an impressive 15.0 points, 4.0 rebounds, and 4.2 assists. In his final NBA game, Wade dropped an amazing 25-point, 11-rebound, and 10-assist triple-double. Miami may have lost that game to the Brooklyn Nets, but there's no denying that Wade was the star of that evening. This season's been about me. I've enjoyed this season with you guys, man. I got some brothers that will always be my brothers. I love you guys, man. All right? Heat Nation, thank you. Love you guys. Reggie Miller. Remember when we said earlier that no single player wants to end their career on a losing note? Well, Indiana Pacers legend Reggie Miller did just that. However, he had such an astounding performance that he still made it to our list here today. Miller's final game came during the 2005 playoffs. It was Game 6 of Indiana's second round matchup against the Detroit Pistons. Miller did all he could to will his side to victory, finishing with 27 points on 11 of 16 shooting, along with 4 triples, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists. Unfortunately for him, the Pacers were overwhelmed by the Pistons, and Miller's final game ended in defeat. Nonetheless, he was honored with an unforgettable standing ovation at the end of the contest. Well, thank you so we much. We wanted to see you continue. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Al? Oh, thank you, Michelle. Final thoughts about the man? One of the greatest. Michael Jordan. Most people retire once, but MJ did it three times. The first time in 1993, after his third title. The second time in 1998, after the last dance, which proved not to be so last after all. Realizing that retirement is not as much fun as playing NBA basketball, MJ was ready to lace him up again in 2001. It wasn't Air Jordan anymore, and he couldn't fly on a regular basis, but he was still good enough to average 20 points per game the final two seasons he played with the Washington Wizards. However, once he broke 40, it was time to retire for good and let Father Time keep his unfettered record. In his last game, Jordan scored 15 points for the Wizards in 2003. Big Johnson Larry Bird has passed on to me. I pass on to these all-stars here as well as the rest of the players in the NBA. I thank for you, I thank you for your support. Now I can go home. Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki played 21 seasons in the NBA, all of which were with the Dallas Mavericks. The German national is one of the last few lifters to prioritize loyalty above anything else. In his final game for the Mavs, Nowitzki logged 20 points, 10 rebounds, an assist, a steal, and a couple of three-pointers. 
He did this in 31 minutes of action, despite the fact that he averaged just 15.6 minutes per game that season, along with 7.3 points and 3.1 rebounds per contest. Obviously, Nowitzki wanted to prove that he could still get it done in the final game of his career. One of the most memorable moments of the evening was Nowitzki tearing up during the pre-game tribute video that was played on the big screen. By the end of the evening, when Dirk was subbed out after making his 20th point, the entire crowd was cheering him on wildly. Oh, and it was an away game for the Mavs that night, with the San Antonio Spurs hosting Nowitzki's final game. Good. A seven-foot forward from Germany, number 41, Dirk Nowitzki! Allen Iverson Allen Iverson is one of the biggest legends of the game never to win an NBA championship. Sadly, he was vastly mistreated on his way out of the league, kind of the same way Carmelo Anthony has been looked at right now. At least the answer had the chance to light it up one last time for his beloved Philadelphia 76ers, even though his team was blown out by the Chicago Bulls. In his last game, Allen Iverson scored 13 points, 3 assists, and 1 rebound. Kevin Garnett we're all glad Kevin Garnett had the chance to go full circle and retire as a member of the Minnesota Timberwolves after pursuing glory with the Boston Celtics. The big ticket was a fierce competitor and one of the hardest working guys ever to lace him up. Gladly, his team was able to get a win the last time he was around, but he spent most of the season inactive afterwards. In his last game, Kevin Garnett scored two points, zero assists, and zero rebounds. Jason Kidd Jason Kidd was barely seeing any playing time at all when he decided to call it a day. Still, he had a key leadership role off the bench for his New York Knicks. Sadly, he couldn't go the way he would have wanted, as he went scoreless in just 6 minutes 23 seconds on a 7-point loss against the Pacers in the playoffs. His stats were 0 points, 1 assist, and 1 steal. And that's hard, but I could never play by myself. And uh, I would like to thank my teammates and hope you guys understand when we go up, we all go up together. And um... Steve Nash Steve Nash was mightily struggling to stay healthy after joining the Lakers to try to retire as a champion next to Kobe Bryant, something that, sadly, didn't end up happening. The two-time MVP spent most of the season inactive before logging just 13 minutes on a blowout loss against the Houston Rockets. Nash's stats in his last game were three points, five assists, three rebounds, and one three-pointer. Guys to do that, to make that commitment to our team and to myself, I will never, ever, ever be able to tell you how much that meant to me. Like, it really, really touched me. And thank you. Manu Ginobili Manu Ginobili recently became the latest member of the Spurs organization to have his jersey hanging high in the rafters after winning four NBA championships with the team. He left the Spurs on quite a high note after recording an astonishing game-winning block on James Harden as a 40-year-old legend. The stats on his last game were 10 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds, and 1 three-pointer. Tim Duncan With the Spurs knocked out of the championship contention by the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Big Fundamental decided it was time to call it a day already. He's the only player to be a part of all the five titles in franchise history and he was one of the top five best big men this game has ever seen. Nobody can hate on him. Not now, not ever. In his last game, the Big Fundamental scored 19 points, zero assists, five rebounds, and one block. That's put together, thank you. Thank you, Coach Pop, for being more than a coach. Thank you, San Antonio. Thank you. David Robinson Hall of Fame center David Robinson was an NBA MVP and 10-time All-Star over the course of his 14-year career with the San Antonio Spurs. Robinson played well in a title-clinching game to close out his career. His in-game performance was overshadowed by young teammate Tim Duncan, who notched 21 points, 20 boards, 10 assists, and 8 blocks in Game 6, and won the Finals MVP award. But nonetheless, the Admiral's exit was almost perfect. Robinson's last game was an 88-77 win over the New Jersey Nets in Game 6 of the NBA Finals. Robinson notched a double-double, scoring 13 points and grabbing 17 rebounds. Energy, we good. And everybody just hung in there. 
Man, it was awesome. And then finally we got some shots to go in the fourth quarter, and that was I turned it around. Take this in and then walk away. I'm ready. I mean, how can you walk away any better than this? I just, I just praise the Lord. This is awesome. Guys. And with that being said, we conclude today's video. Drop your comments below on what you think about these last games of these legends, and do you think Kobe's last game was the best among them all, as most people think that way?